organization and mechanism of probiotics. In this video we will demonstrate the effect of probiotic and its function. We are going to follow one single probiotic bacteria inside the digestive system, in order to begin to understand how probiotic bacteria help the digestive system and immune system to remain healthy, and in particular how they help prevent the growth of pathogenic bacteria. Here the probiotic bacterium emerges into its rapidly replicating stage or multiplication. This view show how the probiotic bacterium replicates. These probiotic bacteria can grow exponentially every 20 minutes, so the consumption of one measuring cup of Whitner products containing viable probiotic cells ensure an inoculating dose for the whole digestive system. Here we see an enlarged representation of the gut wall. The villi provide a large surface area for the colonization of microorganisms and for the absorption of nutrients. We have many different bacteria collectively known as microflora already, colonized within the gut. The gut microflora is made up of beneficial and pathogenic bacteria. The pathogens to low levels when the digestive system is healthy. However the gut microflora can be disrupted by many factors including the use of antibiotic and stress that may reduce immune levels. During these times pathogens can start to grow at higher concentrations, releasing toxins which could damage the gut wall. The scene show probiotic multiply. Of course pathogenic bacteria can also multiply at the same way. Probiotic bacteria have thus developed methods to prevent, reduced, or eliminate the growth and colonization of pathogens within the gut. These methods are shown through three mains of action. Competitive exclusion works by a process of competition between the probiotic and pathogenic bacteria, by colonizing the wall of the gut and also by competition of nutrients in the gut. This is one of the reasons why probiotics works best as a preventive against diseases. If they are able to colonize the gut wall prior to the presence of pathogens then they can act to prevent the colonization and growth and ultimately prevent disease. Probiotic microorganisms are very efficient at competing for the adhesion site in the digestive system. We see here the probiotic bacteria excluding the pathogenic bacteria from the gut wall. The second mechanism of action is the production of lactic acid by the probiotic microorganisms. Lactic acid is produced as a mean of optimizing immediate environment of the probiotic bacteria. It acts to reduce the pH level of the gut toward a more acid environment, since pathogenic species of bacteria such as E. coli and Salmonella prefer a more alkaline pH. This acid pH acts to kill them. The third mechanism of action is to enhance and regulates the immune system, this is demonstrated by the activation of a macrophage immune cell, one ways the body's immune system works. A probiotic bacteria is able to produce chemicals as a means of communicating with the immune cells of the body. Here it is telling the macrophage the location of a colony of pathogenic bacteria. The macrophage is then activated to engulf the colony and destroy it. Prebiotic is defined as a non-digestible food ingredient that beneficially affects the host by selectively stimulating the growth and or activity of one or a limited number of bacteria in the colon to improve host health. This is known as a bifidogenic process, this is particularly important in the lower regions of the gut such as the colon where large quantities of bifidobacterium are found. By combining a prebiotic with probiotic microorganisms you have what is commonly called a symbiotic formulation. 
Here the ingredients produced a synergistic effect.